What's up everybody, I'm the Mangus. you are awesome, and I have a pretty quick update for Predecessor that ended up being a little more interesting the more I looked at it. They announced updates to their UI, so let's go through and take a look. First of all, yes, the UI looks good, but the things that I find the most interesting is Rai Chia and Rai Chia. This UI was obviously designed with controller support in mind. This probably just means better controller support for the PC port, but with all the mentions of crossplay, it makes me wonder if this was specifically designed for consoles. I think for now I'm going to just assume that it's just controller support because I really don't want to get my hopes crushed. The other interesting thing is the title for Steel, the Defender of the Wasteland. I don't remember him ever having such a title in Paragon. Maybe it's just been so long that it slipped my mind, I, I am pretty fucking old, but I don't think so. I couldn't find anything when I searched for it, nor did I find anything in the epic assets that alluded to this title. This may indicate that Predecessor is finally working on attaching a bit of lore to the heroes, which is a very welcome addition for me. I know many people won't give two shits, but I give three. I love lore. Along the top we have Store, Collection, Watch, and Community. The two that stand out to me are Watch and Community. Again, getting my hopes up here, but I would love it if Watch means that the replay functionality has been added into the game. The community tab is probably just a way for them to disseminate news and highlight creators, ruggedly handsome older creators I hope. One thing they specifically said that they added was the ability to view abilities outside of the match. This is a very welcome and much asked for addition. While Predecessor has kept most of the abilities from Paragon the same, they did add some passives and there are some tweaks and added functionality here and there. It'll be nice to know exactly what your abilities do before you load into the game. They've also added some new functionality to the visual settings selection screen, as well as a specific tab for bug reporting. Players being able to quickly report bugs in game will be crucial to the development of Predecessor. They also added a new match found notification designed to pull your attention away from Minesweeper and ready up. The last few playtests have been plagued by people not hitting the damn ready button on time, so hopefully this will help. My overall impressions of the new UI look is that it's far more clean and professional than what we've seen in the past. The old UI wasn't bad, but it's kind of like if the old UI was a really well-made fan flick about Gambit, while the new UI is an actual MCU feature. Anyway, that's about all I have to say about the UI updates. I'll keep doing my best to keep everyone updated on Predecessor. Like the video if you want, sub if you feel like it, but for now, this is the Mangoo signing off. You guys, have a good one. Mangoo!